Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Recently I uploaded a video um, showing my uh, new table set up uh, to do work on um, automotive uh, uh, modules and uh, among my purchases was a microscope. So today I want to give you my review slash advice and some important notes if you are shopping for an am scope or any other uh scope that would have the same setup so stay with So as I mentioned uh, in a previous video, if you're interested, I will put the link right here. Uh, I shared what I purchased and how much everything came out to uh, and uh, how much each part individually. And among uh, my, my, my purchase was this Amscope. Now, this Amscope, uh, I bought it for at that time I paid 580 the moment I bought this it was the last item in the listing the moment I bought it the listing updated to the price updated to 765 770 uh, so I was happy I was glad uh, I was advised by a couple of friends that they do they've been doing this for a long time to buy a setup like this and uh, that's why I chose uh, this actually with uh, what they call it as uh, articulating arm stand this setup uh, there's another ones with the they call it the boom single or or double uh, arms uh, but I decided to go with a setup like this and I thought that Trinocular means three as a show in a picture now watch this picture Watch it carefully I'm gonna take you Here You see the difference? This is the same unit same listing that I bought It's missing this these two symbols now what that means it means it's using one eye for the camera so you cannot you cannot use eyes and camera at the same time you can but you will have to look through only one the the right one and you will have a half half a view uh, it won't be as both of them uh, if you want to use it you have to either push you see when you're pushing, you can use your eyes, and when you're pulling it, you can use the camera. Well, this is not convenient at all. Uh, first, because when you move, and you just you just saw me how I, when I moved it, you will uh, you will make other movements to your setup, so you will definitely lose focus. I already tried it. I, I brought something aboard and I put it, and uh, it wasn't good at all. It's not convenient. Um, so this is trinocular. If, if, if this is not going to be good for you as it is for me, so you, this is what you need. You need to be looking for something called simulfocal. I'll show you. Let's duplicate this. Let's go. Some of focal right here. See, you need to have a head with a simulfocal. All these are simulfocals. And a simulfocal will allow you to use your eyes and the camera at the same time. 
this is part number one you need to pay attention and again do not look at the picture the picture is deceiving and i looked at all listings all of them don't have this symbol they do have the rod they show you the rod so if there is any complaint they tell you hey we had the rod uh, in a description they don't mention anything about it they assume that you understand whether what i what i uh what's the difference between uh trinocular and simulfocal well unfortunately i watched many videos and nobody mentioned this piece of information videos of people famous and I've be, they've been doing this for 10 years and they bought this unit or any other it doesn't have to be this arm uh, uh, but uh, an amscope head and nobody mentioned this piece of information which i think it's really important really really important uh, second thing that i have mentioned before in my previous video and i want to mention now uh i Again, one of these videos that I watched advised to buy this attachment in order to be able to mount your uh, camera, whichever camera you want. So I decided to go with this higher camera because it's a 4K and all the Amscope cameras, the one that comes with it, they don't have a HDMI output, they have a USB, so you can only view your picture on a computer, you cannot view it on a on a monitor. That's why I decided to go with, with a setup that doesn't have a camera included and buy my own camera. So in order for me to mount it, as somebody had mentioned that, you know, buy this one. Well, let me tell you, do not buy this one. And you're probably watching my video after you watch the other video or you're going to watch it after my video. I'm telling you, do not buy this. The reason why this camera, let me turn it on and we need something. Uh, uh, we're going to use this remote. I'll show you why. All right, uh, let me focus here. Okay, we're focused right now. Okay, I wanna use a reference. Okay, you see my reference is gonna be this word camera. You see how it is on the monitor? But here, it's correct. So what do you have to do? You have to do this movement. Now the camera does have flip. This is the remote for the camera. It does have flip, but no matter what you flip, this the picture, it won't be as the actual. Unfortunately, there should be another flip, which is not included. And I'll tell you, look, if, okay, let's, let's say we are here. Let's say this way, camera, right? So let's flip. So when we go back, See it? It's camera backwards. So I'm gonna reflip it and then press the other flip. Now it's camera backwards. Look at it. So no matter what, this flip is not a good flip, not a practical flip. All right, now it is camera, but wrong orientation. Now, the reason why this attachment it does fit snug here but there is nothing stop it nothing stopping it from moving nothing stopping it from being like this i already found a solution for this which i will leave to the end of the video uh, this attachment by the way came with the head that's why i wanted to mention uh this because the solution is to change the whole think so it is something has to do with the head itself number three which is one of the important ones also uh, all these uh, amp scopes or any other uh, brand that uses the same setup and by the way there is so many of them and i think amp scope is just a rebranded or the other ones are rebranded of amp scope uh, all of them when you come here this is very weak 
no matter how much I tie it, it doesn't tie. It doesn't hold the weight of the head. Look, it's gonna go down. Now I was able to really tie it once and I got it to fit. It, it was still move, but at least it wouldn't drop. So the, my only solution here is to put something under, but that's going to prevent me from using this movement, right? Unless I, I, I put a long piece of metal and zip tie it probably or do something or weld it enough for it. if you go off off that arm you still you know it's gonna still hold the weight but this is one of the uh bad sides of this setup this is a really 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 uh, negative you come here to the computer if you put uh, if you look for amscope articulating uh, arm stand you're gonna see this one this one all of them the same like it, this one is different at this at the beginning where it mounts to the table but the arm is the same exact thing this is just the arm itself same thing same thing here so be careful when you buy this this is the most expensive setup but this is a disappointment really big disappointment the same person that uh, recommended buying this he also recommended buying uh, this lens this lens if I only can take it out this 0 0.5 X lens now the reason why when you use it, actually let me set up, let me show you guys. You, you guys have to see this. So without using the lens, look at the word camera. I cannot even fit it in the frame. And this is zooming out all the way with the camera. This is not even zooming in with the camera because it does have a zoom in and out. Look, look how close I am. Plus there's this much of a space for me to do something it's it's too tight for me i cannot use my hot air or my soldering i mean i can but it's it's going to be hard hard so i uh, decided to go with this based on the video recommendation 0.5 x uh the reason why i want to set up i want to show you here you see this camera now we're gonna put the lens and see the difference uh, before that those uh, the eyes are on the same level of my my um, my sitting my 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 position I can use it comfortably okay so let's put the lens and see how that's gonna be a different now I put the lens right here and that light's supposed to go down, but this ring that comes with it, plastic, it's useless. I returned the previous light for that reason, and it still uh, comes off. So if you're <laughs> shopping for one of these, uh, that's going to be useless. So what I did, I just mounted it to the original uh, head. Uh, back to our subject. Now with the, with the lens, what the lens does, it will allow you to go up and now i have both camera remote fitting in the frame now but that will create another problem the problem is now the head is too high for me to use my eyes if i want i don't know if i'm coming in the frame see i have to jump out of my chair i won't be sitting anymore i don't know if that showed i was i do here <laughs> so it's like I can't you know uh, so that I also hopefully found a solution for and also like just like the camera I found a solution but I will not mention it in this video because I, I don't want to ruin this video I want to keep it regarding this unit and uh, in the next video I will have a new head.
the reason why uh, I contacted AMSCO, the company itself, not through Amazon, just I just went to the company and I called them, and I explained I explained to the person my my issue, and uh, he said I have to talk to uh, email a supervisor, so I did email the supervisor and she was kind enough to understand my situation and um, we are in the process of doing something changing this head to a uh, uh, simulfocal head so the next video uh, i have to wrap this tonight and send it back to them the next video is going to be a review of that uh, simulfocal uh, head with all the changes that i'm going to do to solve my main issues here um, this setup the model number for it is Amscope SM60 okay stereo zoom 7x by 45 magnification da -da -da. ambient lighting clamping articulating arm stand Um, what else do I need to mention? Oh, if you have to choose between this one and the other one that has an arm and, and uh, the other one like this setup, this one, I would definitely go with this. The reason why it will give you a space, it won't occupy as much space as this one. This one, the whole area right here is dead. You cannot put anything. But the other one, since the arm is up here, you, you still can put uh, some tools, some stuff here. Um, I didn't talk about uh, the arm itself. But let me show you before I end, up, I end this video. The arm. It mounts to the table. It says M scope here. You have one movement here, second here, and third here. This also loosen to bring it up and down. You can lock these. Like if I lock this, it won't move like that. It, uh, now it's moving because it's not locked completely. But um, it has uh, this right here if you want to mount it. Uh, differently if you have a different table or different setup you want it to be it's good so far it's good it's just this is bothering me the most and of course this so i hope you found this video useful uh definitely stay tuned for the next video you will see the difference and uh, i think it will help you uh, make a decision uh, the, the correct decision before purchasing one of these thank you so much for staying around and uh, take care uh, some of you might say well why get in this why don't you just return and get whatever well reason why let me show you if i want to return it right now as i said i bought it for 570 right now the cheapest is 680 and it's not uh on prime so it will take some time to get here and um, the other reason look even the other models cheapest is 600 and this will take a lot of space in the table this setup will take a big chunk of the table I already don't have enough space it will take like probably a quarter of it this is really good except solving this problem i'm gonna do that that shouldn't be i mean i might i might just use another screw and with something big to tie it enough it will hold the design is is for it to hold the problem is in the screw the screw is not is not it doesn't have enough arm for me to tie it enough for it to to uh to make a good grip that's the problem so that's why I'm, I'm sticking with this arm and I'm going to change the head. Uh, some bonus footage. Earlier when I was shooting, next to me was standing my son. And he asked me if he can be in the video. And I told him, what are you going to say? So he said, I'm going to say hello.
Hello. <laughs> and this is my daughter. <laughs> she wants to have her own YouTube channel. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments if you want her to have her own YouTube channel or not. She's good. She's really good. When she 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 makes videos, but she just have them on the laptop on her mom's laptop. So, how about you? Do you want to make your own channel? What's gonna be about? Dinosaur. Dinosaurs? Okay. <laughs> but the one time I saw this. Okay. This blue. Now he's changing the subject. Okay. Thank you so much for staying around.